Euh, non. Du coup, si elle peut se présenter. So can you present yourself? My name is Rachel Freeman. I am a lecturer in horticulture here in Technological University Dublin at the Blanchestown campus. Yes, so, so what do you teach? So the modules that I teach, I teach trees and woodlands. I teach floristry, interior landscapes. I also teach the practical training modules for first years in gardening and social and therapeutic and community gardens are my areas of interest. I teach um, the community horticulture module with the students in first year out in the community engaging with the, the local public. Et comment elle s'est intéressée au jardin thérapeutique et comment elle arrive à le mettre en place justement dans ses formations So how did this interest come to you about the therapeutic garden and how did you uh, embed it uh, in your teaching Okay, so my first job when I finished my degree was with the probation service and I worked with young offenders and prisoners and that's where I got my interest. I saw the benefits for engaging people in the outdoors, in gardening, in nature and what it could do for them. They responded very well to this uh, type of uh, engagement and so I began to do some study. I came some years later here to the university. I had the pleasure of being one of the first members of staff on site and had the ability to with two other people to write the degree program and into that I embedded community horticulture, social and therapeutic horticulture and all those things um, and I was aided in that by my colleague Kierna Ryan. Um, she is uh, strong in her academic uh, interest in community horticulture mm -hmm. and she teaches the fourth year social and therapeutic module and between the two of us we embed a lot of civic engagement, a lot of connections with the local community mm -hmm. in our horticulture program um, because that allows our students to go out and, en uh, and engage in real context and we find it benefits them hugely mm -hmm. and our local community. And, que and peut... finally, yeah, I think you're creating a community garden now in yes. on campus in yeah. Blanchestown. So we have a new community garden opening here in Blanchestown and we're working with Global Action Plan um, who are an environmental education group here in Ireland and they are uh, about to uh, recommend, uh, I suppose, uh, rejuvenate the site and we're helping them with that and then we will have um, some volunteers on site in the coming months and then our garden once uh, it's up and running will be open to the mm -hmm. students and to the local population here in Blanchestown and, and further afield. Ok, elle vient de parler du jardin partagé, mm -hmm. communautaire, ok d'accord. Yeah, yeah. Et est-ce que du coup elle a des, des espérances, des évolutions dans le concept, est-ce qu'elle a des projets euh... Oh, what do you see in the future, like what are your hopes for the future for this project So, yeah, I mean continuity, mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that it stays and that it will be here for the long term, that's a key thing. And that the local people will embrace it so our idea would be that they will uh, be part of this from the beginning mm. that they will enjoy it enjoy its development and be part of that and get some kind of sense of ownership mm. we would hope from there then that they would think about horticulture the environment mm. social and therapeutic as a career mm -hmm. um, for social and therapeutic horticulture in ireland within the university we're trying mm. to find to form an organization we work with uh, uh, Hillary from the uh, St. Mary's Hospital in the Phoenix Park where we visited this morning um, and and others to form an organization in Ireland. It is always a very difficult space due to the lack of professionalism um, and so on but we are trying. Okay, it's great. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. <laughs>